Here's another example for understanding the concept of tachycat. On the left side, we're going to imagine that we're standing in a room with the total station. So as we move around with the station, we can rotate around and see the entire room, just like you'd be standing on site. And simultaneously with tachycat, you'd be connected to AutoCAD, which is going to be the screen to our right. You'll see the tachycat menu, and in addition, there's also plenty of toolbars you can use but what I'm going to show you is a basic concept for doing an outline plan of the floor plan. Measure outline plan is a feature that allows you to choose two points on each facade and the lines are auto broken by tachycad. You'll see what I mean. So reading the command prompt says to choose the first point on face. So we're going to start over here I'll choose one point here and perhaps another point on that facade. So two points on each and then I'm going to move to the next facade to get the outline plan. And you notice that as I measure in the field I'm drawing simultaneously. Two points on each facade. So instead of me clicking with my mouse like I'm doing now you'd simply be aiming the total station at the wall. And I can shoot at different heights. I am taking th true 3D points here. And we spin around. Okay, here's a challenging one since it's on the computer. Let's see if I can read this. Okay. And I'll come into AutoCAD and select Close. So what we're left with is this representation. And maybe I want to include the closet as well. Measure Outline Plan. So this helps you not have to um, snap exactly in the corners with the station. And in this case, I may want to come in and finish with some lines. But it's just AutoCAD, so if you're comfortable in the CAD environment, then you shouldn't have a problem with understanding TachyCAD. You're just using your total station as a real-world mouse. Now this is just 2D. If I wanted, I could easily insert 2D doors, windows, all that stuff's involved in here. Inserting a door, let's say. Choose your door type with a reveal or without, a double swing. Okay, how you want to insert the door by taking points on both sides of the reveal or actually measuring the width of the door. And let's insert this door. I select the wall line in AutoCAD, which is here. Select point on the reveal. Okay, how about here? Since we can't really see it too well on this example, select second point. And then choose the door swing. In this case, it's swinging towards the wall. Now we could easily auto insert dimensions here, but we're just going to make it a simple door. So you can see it's simple to do 2D actions here, uh, 2D floor plan work, inserting doors, inserting windows. If I wanted to insert windows, it's in the same area. Uh, insert a window rather than a door. Uh, there's a number of different features in here that are much easier to show. Uh, in person or also um, with a trial but we wanted you to be able to get a taste of what the program does the idea is you're in AutoCAD so if you understand CAD you can survey very easily and you can leave with a finished drawing so if I want to start measuring in 3D or perhaps get the elevation it's as simple as doing it as I would in AutoCAD 
changing the UCS and measuring from floor to wall to ceiling to get different elevation drawings. Now if I want to start inserting things in 3D, for example, custom blocks, locating sprinkler heads, locating electrical outlets, locating fans, anything in the room that you need to insert for as-built data. You can have your standard blocks, your custom blocks that you may have in AutoCAD already, and go to simply insert block. Okay, and then you would choose it from the list, and I don't have any to choose from in this case, but you would have your standard blocks. And it's simple as following the command prompt in AutoCAD. Choose insertion point. You click in the real world, or shoot in the real world with your total station, and it's inserted. For example, circle through 3D point. Now in this case, a circle is a 2D object in AutoCAD, but we're going to use 3D points to insert it. So let's insert, this looks like a speaker. Following the command prompt, and I'm taking my total station and aiming at three areas on the circle. Instantly insert it into AutoCAD in its true location. Okay. So same thing with electrical outlets. If you have a standard block for it, that's fine. In this case, I'm going to insert a point. Here's a location of an outlet on the left. And what we're going to do is just aim our total station and fire. Shows up in the drawing exactly where it's supposed to be on the wall. Represented by the X. That was our point. Now again, I've showed you using custom commands in TachyCAD, but remember this is just AutoCAD. If I want to just draw lines, I put an L for line like I normally do in AutoCAD and I can start drawing. And as I shoot with the total station, it draws for me. So the more points I take, perhaps needing high detail of an object, the more accurate I'm going to be but we also provide tools for auto-inserting things like arcs and circles. This is just shot after shot with a total station and again it's a little more challenging on this screen. Let's close and here's our result. For doing room heights there's a few ways to do it. You simply go to height dimension tools and you can put in absolute or relative heights. For example, an absolute height would be if this is the bottom story of the house, the floor would be the absolute height zero. But if this was the second story of a house, perhaps I'm 10 feet from the absolute zero, but it's my relative height of zero. My absolute height would be 10 if it was the second story very simple to insert room heights simply follow the command prompt insertion point on the floor and insertion point on the ceiling you choose what kind of block okay throws it into AutoCAD now I've mixed up my my units here but I think you get the picture and that's the general idea. Moving from room to room, fairly easy. Having control points, you pick up and reset the station and reorientate yourself with the control points. Now as a bonus to the TachyCAD functionality with the total station, TachyCAD Measured Building Survey also comes with the ability to use a handheld laser. Uh, in most cases it's a Leica Disto laser, but we also support the Bosch and Hilti handheld lasers that have Bluetooth technology built in. And using the handheld laser, you can measure and then via Bluetooth transfer those coordinates directly into AutoCAD. So you can combine technologies, either a handheld or the total station, for doing your measurements quickly.